<laughs> really, you see them. They're very, very sensitive, emotional. They have those big ears, you know. So anyway, um, don't yell at your cow. <laughs> and uh, there's so many things that are useless in today's world. In fact, most of the things manufactured by human beings are quite useless unless they can be engaged in Krishna consciousness, Krishna service. Huh? You go to the, who is telling us? Oh, yeah. Ziggy was telling us he went to the, the first time he, he was in Russia for three years on doing construction and stuff like that. And then he came back to the United States and he was out of toothpaste. So he went down to the store, you know, a typical supermarket. And here was like a whole aisle of different kinds of toothpaste. And he was like standing there scratching his head going like, what the, which kind of, you know. And he was describing in, in Russia, it's like when the store has toothpaste, which it doesn't always have, huh, you go down there and you buy like 20 tubes of toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> and then you hoard it, you know, for a year. And uh, so uh, it's a whole different thing than when you go in the store and there's like 500 different kinds of toothpaste, you know, a thousand different kinds of breakfast cereal, um, you know, 200 brands of detergent, and each one has four or five different flavors, you know. Soap comes in flavors. What is this? I mean, these are useless. These are useless things, you see. We value things in devotional service by their purity. So what's the best soap? It's the one that has the least impurities. It doesn't have any animal products, doesn't have any scent. It doesn't have any weird chemicals or you know, unbiodegradable uh, chemicals. Uh, we just got this great neem soap from Mother Swati. Oh yeah, it's so nice, you know, neem and uh, what's it? What else has it got Tulsi. in it? Tulsi, right? Oh man, I mean the whole bathroom smells be beautiful now. <laughs> yeah, just from the soap. And uh, th the other day, Uduva came over to my cabin to visit, and I said, "Do you have scented oil on or something?" And he said, no, I just washed with the soap. Oh, that's what it's the soap. So uh, when things are nice and pure, then they're very pleasant. They're very nice to have. You know, but instead they're adding different chemicals for color, chemicals for artificial scent, chemicals for this, chemicals for that. You know, who knows what their effects are? You know, in most cases there's no adequate research or anything like that. And why, why should we have to make all of that bother? You know, just to determine what's safe. Uh, so there's so many useless things. Why do they change the model of car every year? Huh? Is like. 500 different kinds of cars that you can get. Well, why do you need so many cars? Huh? A car is for getting from A to B without breaking too many laws, hopefully. So why do you need a, a car that's gonna, that'll go 200 miles an hour? It's useless. Useless. And stupid. You know? That's a good way to get in an accident. So we don't need a car. You know, our car barely runs. <laughs> Gets us back and forth to town. That's about it. But that's fine. That's all we need it for. You know, we don't need a better truck than that. You know, we, we, the, the most ambitious thing we did with this truck was carry a load of manure and straw up the hill. You know, that's, that's good enough. It's okay. Yeah, we just spent a thousand bucks on it. It's good enough. So when you have something that's good enough, why improve it further? So you can charge more for it? Yeah, that's what they do. They add features and then they try to charge more and make more profit. See, but it's about the profit. It's not about doing good for the customer. Huh? So these are useless things. This whole Western materialistic civilization is based on the manufacture and distribution of useless things. Uh, and then people get, you know, I've heard people get into fights over like, you know, what brand of car they drive. Uh, or, or what football team t-shirt they have on. Uh, that is nothing more useless than being a sports fan. Uh, 
That's completely useless. What does it, what good is it? There's nothing, there's no, no spiritual advancement in that. There's, there's nothing, you know, I just don't see it. I mean, education, yeah, you know, up to a point that's useful. And the more educated, the more literate a person is, generally the better they do in devotional service. You know, but on the other hand, if someone becomes too intelligent, too speculative, huh, they can ruin everything by, you know, guessing games and, and, you know, politics and all this stuff. So everything has a use in Krishna consciousness up to a point. And we're willing to accept that up to the point where too much of it becomes a detriment. Okay. And uh, that's the real criterion of renunciation, by the way. We renounce everything that has no use in Krishna's service. But if it has any use in Krishna's service, then we accept it, as long as we don't have to endeavor too hard for it. If it comes easily, then we accept it and we engage it in Krishna's service. So that's very nice. Soon we're going to be in India, and we're going to be in a position where we can get a house built of natural materials, locally grown, organic, uh, no paint, no plastic, no wallboard, uh, no plywood. Uh, plywood, you know, it has, uh, what's that stuff they put into dead bodies? Um, formaldehyde. formaldehyde, yeah. Plywood has a lot of formaldehyde in it. You didn't know that? Oh, come on. Oh, come on, that, that, the south there where you live, that's where most of the plywood in the U.S. is made. And they, they, uh, are, the, the plants where it is made are very dangerous. And the people who work there, they get lung disease after a while from inhaling too much formaldehyde. It's very, very bad stuff. Huh? Carcinogenic. Carcinogenic, yeah, they get cancer and like that. So you don't want to have the, the, the trailers that FEMA had made for the Katrina hurricane victims had so much formaldehyde, I couldn't even stand to go in them. You could smell it? Yeah. Yeah, formaldehyde smells really bad. So um, all these things are basically useless. You know, I had a friend in Atlanta um, who uh, bought a new house. And I came in, she said, come on, take a look at my new house. So I went over there, and I walked in the house, and I go, you're going to buy this house? It stinks. Oh, she was so mad. I don't think she ever, never spoke to me after that. <laughs> uh, but the house stunk. I mean, between the new paint, the wallboard, with, you know, the gypsum, and then they, they use some kind of glue and stuff to stick it together, and the plywood, and the formaldehyde, and the plastic, and gosh knows what else was in the windows, and, and this and that. And, oh, yeah, all that nice uh, uh, asbestos insulation, you know, and all that stuff. I mean, it all is made with chemicals, and it was horrible. But why does anybody become attached to this nonsense? Why don't they just stick with good old uh, natural construction materials? You know, in many places, these things are even mandated by construction codes. You have to use them. So it's really horrible. The whole society, the whole Western society is like that. Video games. Oh, that's a good one. Video games. Yeah. No use whatsoever in devotional service. Complete waste of time. Uh, speaking of complete waste of time, Monty Python, you know, comedy shows, absurdity. You know, you go, you look on the, just look on, uh, on YouTube. Most of the shows on YouTube are just, just completely absurd, useless nonsense. Why would anybody want to waste their time on this so-called entertainment? What is entertainment? It means after working so hard, that you become exhausted, then you go sit back passively and somebody uh, entertains you. Then you can forget about your pain and your, your uh, uh, sorrows. Huh? Forget your troubles. Come on, get happy. <laughs> Take some intoxication. Watch some nonsense on TV. 
This is the life that they have made. And this, this is the, the wonderful advancement of Western civilization. That they've created so many useless things and then people have become attached to them. So much so that they'll fight if they're taken away. Uh, this is some kind of insanity. And it's a Nanartha that stops advancement in devotional service. And the next weakness of heart is called kuti nati. Kuti nati means deceitful or crooked behavior. Politics, diplomacy, deception, exploitation, profiteering, po you know, any kind of political uh, games are all kuti nati. Uh, they are rejected by Vaishnavas. And what are they? A form of laziness. Uh, it 